Good morning, you absolute legends, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a new video. And this video is gonna be absolutely magmotional, because today I am playing Royal St. George's. Yes, me, I am playing Royal St. George's. Uh, yesterday, the world's best golfers were on there, and today, for some reason, they've let me on to shank Lampard my way around it, and I cannot blooming wait to check out the barnet by the way look at the barnet I'm, oh, I'm just buzzing absolutely buzzing but this is all down to you guys thank you so so much all of your love and support has basically got us to play royal st george's so i'm going to take you on the journey you absolute legends thank you so so much golf life So the most important things today are the weapons of choice and suntan lotion because it's absolutely gross man. So this yesterday was absolutely rammed. What a gaff. I'm absolutely buzzing but I tell you what, I'm so nervous. So nervous. But I am buzzing off my Dave Titsons. <laughs> and I've only gone and got myself a caddy for today. Here's Simon, everyone who watches the channel as well. How you doing, mate? There you go. Good morning. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Looking forward to the day ahead and we're going to absolutely tear up the course. Absolutely, there we mate. Go. And buzzing, like, we met there didn't we? You we and did. I, I watched the channel, I was watched like, the yes. channel all the time. Golf so life, it's the only life we know. That's it, exactly. Right, on the fifth hole and look at that. That is a joke. Apparently uh, a certain Gary Are Neville uh, carried the uh, Carried the mound over there, yeah. Carry of about 285 yards. It was about 25 yards short of the green. Yeah, good shot. It's fine. That'll play. All right. That'll play. No Gary Neville, but it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> that could be really good. It's a golf shot. It's a golf shot. <laughs> Come on, side the there gaffer. How nice is this place looking? This place is absolutely sensational. Oh. A massive shout out has to go to. Paul Larson and his Paul Larson. team. Is it he's the head green keeper? He's the head green keeper here, yeah. And his team and all the volunteers, they've done an absolute sensational job. Right, so this is for Birdie. And Cy, si, on the on the channel when we get a birdie, you know what the deal is, don't you? Oh I certainly do. Yeah, I'll be ready for the dance. I'll be ready. It's gonna come back again at the end. Go on. Go on. That was a great oh. effort. Oh, he's absolutely drooling Drax a little bit. Come on. Right. So here's a bit of Royal St. George's knowledge from the main man, Simon. So basically for the Open, because uh, obviously you have people coming over from all nationalities, all countries, um, you have yardages, so it's 106 yards, or you have it in metres, which is 97 metres. Basically 10%, but only done for the open. Love that. Perfect day so far, me and Simon on the fairways, absolutely loving it. But we are missing Big Ange, aren't we? We uh, love, we love you know Big Ange. Do you know what? It's a great day, it's a great company, but Big Ange needs to be here, so we need to fix this. To be fair, it was Big Angie's birthday yesterday, so he's probably hanging like a fruit bag today. <laughs> but um, we, we might be back, might we? Yeah, you might be back on uh, Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. So for a, for a twilight round and... Uh, <laughs> Dreams we'll, can come true. We'll rinse and repeat. Absolutely buzzing. Big one, we love it, don't we? So here we are on the 13th oh, green. And just oh, over there oh, is Prince's. Uh, we played Prince's the other... Hello, Chris. <laughs> Hello, Mia. <laughs> Prince's over there. We played it the other day. Unbelievable course. And uh, here we are. Fighting for par on the 13th. Yeah. Boom. 
This is the 16th at Royal St George's and over the weekend, big John Thompson only went and got a hole in one. So I'm going to try not get a hole in one because there's absolutely no chance. I'm going to try and get a par. Talk me through it, Di. Right, so we want to aim middle of the green. Yeah. It's a nice and smooth swing. Eye on the back of the ball. Just off the green. Just off the green on the left. Nice strike. I'm happy with that. Good strike. The big, big John already had it in by now. But going yeah, a little bit right, yeah. just on the uh, shadow of the flag. Short's better than long. We'll We've got take a chance that. for a par. We'll got a chance take for a par. Oh. 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 I'll take a four, John. 17th at Royal St George's. Sai, Deschambeau. Drove this, right? Drove this green in the practice round, yeah. So, unbelievable. Stay. Got to be 400 and something yards so <laughs> different game. We have found the main man, it's Paul, the head green keeper who's got this place looking unbelievable mate. How are we? Very good, thank you. No mate, thank you so much for having me down here then. That's all right. How did you get it looking so good? Well, years of toil. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hard work is all I could say. And it's not even years, it's been two years of hard work. Yeah. Just because in the drought in 2018, as I keep saying, but these were proper brown in a bad way. Yeah. So two years of hand dressing, seeding, and all that sort of stuff has made this like this. Mate, unbelievable. And you've become a bit of an internet sensation. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I wouldn't mind, but I'd be too busy to see any of it. I get screenshots, look at you like this. <laughs> sort that barnet of yours out. <laughs> mate, that barnet is sensational. <laughs> unbelievable, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And Cheers. keep up the great work, mate. Thanks a lot. Smashing nice it. One. Paul, what a man. Cheers. See you later. Another Royal St George's fact for you, the halfway hut is actually on the 12th hole. Right, we are on the 18th at Royal St George's. I can't actually believe what's happened today. Like, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much to you guys for all the love and support, which has basically got us here. Um, Big Andrew's coming as well uh, the next few days, so buzzing with that. Meeting Simon today has been amazing. Uh, so let's try and par the 18th at Royal St George's. If you haven't and you like our stuff, please like and subscribe. Come on, let's par. Go on, go. That's fine. Right, so what are you giving me? Six iron, yeah? Yeah, six iron. Right. Just go straight at it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, same swing tempo. Eye on the back of the ball, you got this. Come on. Can I just say it's been absolutely amazing hanging around with you today? Uh, it's, been an, it's been an honour, seriously, I've loved every Lovely, lovely man. And, uh, we will see each other again in a lot of time. Here we go, six times. It's okay, we're in play. You're a strong right. Okay. We're okay. Yeah. So this is the walk. Colin Morikawa did on Sunday when he knew he'd won the Open. There's the scoreboard up there, walking onto the 18th green. Those stands were absolutely rammoed. What a place. The gaffer has advised a seven iron bump and run, so that's what we're gonna do. Get over. Get over. Is that all right? Absolutely fine. Yeah? We're dancing. Par <laughs> There we Half go. Par Come pass. on. Yes. Come back. Come back. Oh. 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 Oh.
Unbelievable effort. Unbelievable. What greens. Right. Is that a gimme? It's not really, is it? Take a bogey on the 18th at Royal St. George's. For a bogey at Royal St. George's, the 18th. Here we go. Come on. Hey. 